India's defense budget for 2023-24 increased by 12.95% from last year's allocation of rupees 5.25 lakh crore to 5.93 lakh crore with pension constituting a whopping rupees 1.38 lakh crore and salaries of uniform personnel and civilians amounting to about 1.5 lakh crore this means salaries and pension itself comprise nearly half of the defense budget that accounted for 13.18% of the total expenditure listed by union finance minister nimla sitaraman or 3.76% of the gdp which is estimated at 157 rupees 157.6 lakh crore for the financial year 2022-23 Last year rupees 1.19 lakh crore was allocated for defense pensions. The capital budget that caters to modernization needs of the armed forces like buying of new equipment and firepower has seen a modest increase of 6.5% by about rupees 10000 crores taking it up from 1.52 lakh crore in the current fiscal to rupees 1.62 lakh crore for the new financial year. Interestingly the revised estimates of the current capital budget showed that it was reduced to rupees 1.5 lakh crore a closer look showed that the indian air force was not able to spend the rupees 55586 crore meant for modernization and surrendered nearly about rupees 2000 crore so in the defense and security establishment said that the 6.57 percent increase in capital allocation has to be also seen in context of the rise in dollars value which was about rupees 75 per dollar last year and now at rupees 81 india accounted for 11% of the global arms import in 2017-21 and continues to be one of the biggest importers despite the government limiting 68% of the capital procurement to indian firms latest data by the sipri shows the budget documents showed that while money allotted under the pensions for the current fiscal was rupees 1.19 lakh crore it increased to rupees 1.53 lakh crore under revised estimates the increase in pension bill was due to the revision of the one rank one pension scheme a source said pointing out that it will result in an additional annual expenditure of rupees 8450 crore as far as the allocation for capital budget is concerned the navy and the army have seen a substantial increase in the budget amidst ongoing tensions with china as well as a full fledged modernization drive both the navy and the army are looking at procuring a host of new technologies including specialized drones loitering munitions small arms light tanks upgrade of existing tanks and armored personal carriers besides new naval fighters the capital budget for the navy increased from rupees 47590 crores in the budgetary estimates to 52804 crore for the next fiscal the revised estimates for the current fiscal put the capital outlay at 47727 crore which meant that it spent 137 crore more than what was originally allotted in the case of the army the capital budget increased from rupees 32015 crore to 37241 crore revised estimates for the current fiscal showed that the army had spent over rupees 500 crore more than what was initially allotted in the current fiscal However, in the case of the IIF, the budget for the new fiscal saw only a marginal increase as it went up from rupees fifty-five thousand five eighty-six crores to rupees fifty-seven thousand one thirty-seven crore. Closer analysis showed that the allocation for procuring additional equipment besides fighter planes saw the maximum hike. from rupees 26624 crore last year it increased to rupees 36223 crore this year sources explained that the category takes care of acquisition of new missiles and drones besides other niche technologies incidentally money allotted for procuring aircraft and aero engines has been reduced while it was rupees 18966 crore for the current fiscal the finance minister reduced it to 15721 crore in the new financial year So this explained that this meant that the IAF's plan to go in for procurement of 114 multi-role fighter aircraft or the MRFA program is unlikely to materialize in the new financial year because contract signing it itself would need 10% of the total cost to be paid upfront. 
Non-salary revenue outlay has been enhanced significantly from Rs 62,431 crore in the budgetary estimates for the current fiscal to Rs 90,000 crore, representing a 44% jump. This expenditure is expected to close critical gaps in combat capabilities and equip the forces in terms of ammunition, sustenance of weapons and assets, military reserves, etc. As a precursor to this increase in the non-salary revenue segment, the government during the midterm review had also enhanced the operational allotments of the current financial year by Rs 26,000 crore, which works out as 42% of the current allocation. This increase in the revised estimates 2022-23 has been ensured liquidation of the entire carryover liabilities during the current year, thereby ensuring that there is no dent in the next year's operational outplay of the services. The enhanced allocation in the budget will also cater to training aids and simulators for the Agnivis. The capital budget for the BRO, that is the Border Roads Organization, has been increased by 43% to Rs 5,000 crore in financial year 2023-24 as against the 3,500 crore currently. The allocation to DRDO has been enhanced by 9% with a total allocation of Rs 23,264 crore in the next financial year. For the print, this is Snehi Shalex Philip. Do subscribe to your print's YouTube channel for more such videos.